Welcome to the Orders Reconciliation Video Collection Part 5. Today we will be discussing the Discharge Order Reconciliation. The Discharge Reconciliations will be accessed through the Discharge Orders and the Discharge Orders Nursing Home Structured Notes. To complete the Discharge Reconciliation, go into the Discharge Orders Structured Note, go to the Orders Reconciliation section, and click on the Orders Reconciliation Launch. Once in the Order Reconciliation Manager, you will click on the Discharge New and you will need to select your provider that you're speaking to on the phone and your source of telephone and select OK. Once the Discharge Order Reconciliation Manager is open, you will want to make sure the format layout is set to Expand Medications. So come up to Format Layout, click and Expand Medications. You will only have to do this the first time you enter the Discharge Med Rack. You will want to do this to be able to easily manage the medications throughout this process. You will notice that each medication is listed as either a home medication or an inpatient med. There may also be duplicates of medications listed as each. So you'll notice two Lispros, two hydrochlorothiazides, lisinopril's, to Lasix, and so on. While reviewing with the provider on the phone, if you only take the initial time to address the medications the provider wants to continue after discharge, you will save time in the end. If the home medication and the inpatient medication are the exact same, the home medication should be continued. Start by selecting the medications to continue after discharge. The physician would like to send the patient home on the insulin list pro that they came in with. So we will select the green arrow moving the medication to the right hand side of the screen. The green arrow means that the exact medication will be continued. You will notice on the inpatient list pro there is an orange arrow. If you click on the orange arrow you are simply suggesting the medication and the form will open and you will need to fill it out. For today we will close this because that's not what we're going to do. We will continue the hydrochlorothiazide lisinopril. We will continue the Lasix 40 milligrams once a day even though they were on it twice a day at home. The physician would like the patient to go back on what he or she came in with. For the Prilosec and the Protonix, Protonix is the Blessing Hospital substitute for Prilosec. We want to send the patient home on the actual Prilosec, so we'll select that. And we'll select the Levothyroxine 25 micrograms, one cap, once a day. You will notice that each medication to start with had a mandatory asterisk. Now only the medications that have not been continued have the asterisk remaining. Once you've continued all the medications the physician wants the patient to go home on, simply come up to mark all remaining reviewed slash discontinued. This will address the rest of the medications. Once you're done here, save as complete, which takes you back to the discharge orders. A couple of things to remember is that if a patient requires a prescription, the provider will still need to do this. If required, the prescription should be completed before the discharge reconciliation is started if the provider is not completing the reconciliation themselves. Unlike the transfer reconciliation, once the discharge reconciliation is completed, the orders that are not to be continued after discharge remain active until the patient is actually discharged. If the provider wants specific orders to stop prior to the patient leaving, you must work the Orders tab by discontinuing the specified orders. You have now completed the Orders Reconciliation Part 5, Discharge Orders Reconciliation.